Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Aisha Lawal is a fantastic actress and she has been able to carve a niche for herself. She got married recently and celebrated her daughter's one-year-old birthday just two months ago. Before then, there were stories and scandals that were posted online concerning her pregnancy, her baby, and her baby daddy. Well, Aisha Lawal is actually married legally and she did not marry a married man. The man was single, Aisha was single according to her, and then they got married legally. Her husband is a Muslim, and Aisha said he actually asked for a hand in marriage, and they did all the right things. Regarding the, all the scandals and stories that were posted concerning her pregnancy and her baby, she said, my daughter is far more important than the story that has been written. So I just decided to keep quiet and let it go. Maturity and education is more than any scandalous story. So it's always better to ignore and let it go. Now that Aisha is now a mother, there are some rules that she can't take again. But she had this to say. Yes, lots of them. I'm really quite surprised when bloggers write things and people will be like, and these are supposed to be role models. Are you supposed to pick artists as your role model for crying out loud? They are not pastors. Even pastors are not supposed to be your role model. It is written in the Quran. Don't look at their characters, but listen to their preaching. I grew up looking up to my mom. Artists are not perfect. I can't live a perfect life. Their humans are bound to have flaws like every normal humans. Despite looking up to my mom, and I know very, her very well, there are still some things about her that I don't really like. And that is because that is her person and she can't be perfect. So I want my kids to always look up to me as their role model, not a complete stranger. Yes, I need to mend my ways if there are some things I need to call. So, has she ever sat down and wished that she was not an actress? Yes, that was when she had a baby. She was like, I wish I never did this. If I was not an actress, there won't be drama for the baby. You know the internet never forgets. And I don't want my baby to go and see all those things and I will start explaining things to her. She said, What are the people that I shall respect in the industry? She respects the likes of Joker Silva and Olu Jacobs. But she has also learned that they have been through a lot in their marriage and she learned they separated for a while too at a point and later came back. How long has Aisha been in the industry? She has been in the industry since 2008. She went through training and she has featured in a lot of movies since then. People ask, why didn't she settle down with someone in the industry? Well, she belongs to the school of thought that says that one shouldn't marry someone from the same profession. She prefers her husband to come from a different industry or doing something totally different from hers. So if there is any problem in that particular sector, they will not be both affected. So they won't both go down financially. It is better that they belong to two different fields, she said. Many do not know this, but you know Aisha is actually a trained lawyer? Yes. Does she miss going to court? No, she loves her job. She loves acting. It is like being paid for your hobby, so she loves it. And she has a strong passion for acting. Moreover, with this career of hers, she can decide to go on a break for months. And people will not know. She says, I travel a lot, but people don't know because I don't get to post pictures every now and then. Traveling is my hobby. I don't post pictures because I don't like trending. Just live my normal life. I use my personal money to travel. And it is not like I have it too much in essence. But I like to make myself happy and comfortable, she said. What else does she do apart from acting? She runs a business, she has a shop, she sells woman hair, and she also has another shop where she sells Ashwebi Atorita in Challenge. What has life taught Aisha in general? It has taught her that the only person you can depend on is God, and that is just the only way, she said. What is the difference between Aisha Lawa on screen and the real Aisha? She said she does not like Wahala, she gets tired. And there, is, there are lots of controversy, stress, and drama. She naturally hates drama, she said. She also said she does not flaunt things on Instagram and she minds her lane because she does not want her daughter to grow up and start reading negative stories about her. She does not also want her husband to read things that will make him dissociate himself from her. She does not want trouble and she just wants to peacefully do her stuff. How did she feel? seen her baby for the first time. In her words, I can't really explain because her labor was complicated. When she finally had the strength, even till date, when she sees her baby, she would always be like, is she really mine? 
she keeps asking her mother and her husband she said and she can't really get over the fact that she has an adorable baby girl how has she been coping with motherhood and her career and mixing things up for her it has not been easy especially when you have a baby it is pretty difficult and time consuming it is stressful at a point she was overwhelmed and really losing her mind but at the end of the day she was able to balance it she has featured in so many movies including irugbi amiagbara unika meson fifenhomi just to mention a few she also mentioned that role models as Joke Silva, Fetia Balogun, Bimbo Shin, Miwa Demola, just to mention a few. What is her relationship with her colleagues? She has good relationship with them, even when they have misunderstanding or they step on one another's toes. She believes in apologizing and moving on. How does she cope with competition? She's not a competitive person naturally, so she does not know how to compete for things. She said she told herself years back that she wanted to train, but she does not want to train the negative publicity and she does not want to compete with anybody. There's no risk anywhere. I want to do it at my own pace. It doesn't matter if my colleagues are ahead at any point. I will also get there, she said. How does she handle advances from male fans? Uh, for her, there is no better way to handle male fans. You just keep doing it the way it comes. She says some make you so upset, but there are some that you can actually talk to in a matured way. Sometimes it can be crazy. Some people would say that they went to their pastors and their pastor said I will be their wife. There was a particular pastor who called her from Akure. He has a church there and he said while praying on the mountain, there was a vision that came to him that Aisha will be his wife. She told him that she was a Muslim and he said it didn't matter. Then Aisha told him to go back to the mountain to pray again. What is her definition of style? She likes looking good and simple. Her beauty regimen, she does not really have one. The only thing she does is to sleep and drink plenty of water. And she doesn't really like makeup. Why she's not going out on sets? On provocative dressing. She can wear provocative dresses when acting. She can also wear it at home for her husband. Or when? she's driving but why she's not driving she's always on jean and top and she does not like it when people are on bike and they're pulling their dresses down she always wonder why they wore such dresses in the first place how's her childhood her childhood was interesting and her siblings are more on the quiet side as a child she loved to dance there was a school close to her house and she recalled attending their christmas parties so that she could dance to the pupils Maybe because her mother didn't encourage her, she soon lost interest in dancing, she said. When she was in 400 level in the university, they were encouraged to go and undergo a vocational course so that they would be empowered and not necessarily wait for the government to employ them upon graduation. Then I thought about learning cake making, but she later stumbled on a movie audition and said to herself that she can do this. Afterwards, she attended J15 School of Performing Arts, owned by Femi Adebayo, to hone her acting skills. The first movie that she featured in was As a Waka Pass. She remembered that she was quite frightened, as it was her first time of facing a camera, as she was on the same set with Fuki Akedele Bilo and Tony Abraham. Even though she played the role of a prostitute, she didn't want to wear a short dress, but she had to do it eventually. What are the challenges she has faced so far? Once she started acting, she used to tell her boss that she didn't want to act anymore, that she did rather go back to the courtroom. It was not easy sleeping at locations, but somehow she has been able to pull through and she's waxing stronger. She always tells those coming into the industry to have an education because the difference between you and the next person is that you have to be extraordinary. There are lots of issues in the industry and one has to be very proactive, she said. What is her personality like? She's a Gemini, so basically she has two different characters, she said. One minute she can be very friendly and outgoing, and then the next minute she may just want to recoil and be on her own. She does not know how to hide her feelings because she's very blunt, but once she tells you what's on her mind, she forgets about it. In the next five minutes, she's thinking of something else, and she always tries to be successful and lead a balanced life. How does she relax? When she's not working, she sleeps. And sometimes she watches movies or series. Aisha Lawa was born into the family of three children. She's the second child. Her mother is the secondary school principal, while her father is late. We have come to the end of this episode on Aisha Lawa. We hope you learned at least one or two things about her. And thank you for staying with us until this time. Subscribe and click the bell icon for our daily content. And until next time, remain blessed.